Oh wow, what's this? What is this? Oh my god, look at that! You might remember this fascinating sea spider video from April 2022, while OET was exploring the Kingman Reef and Palmyra Atoll region of the Pacific Remote Island Marine National Monument. Is that another dinner plate size spider? It's certainly pretty big. It's 20 centimeters, something like this or so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Still go. What we thought was a video of sea spiders matching spores has been confirmed to be likely the first time humans have witnessed these deep sea sea spiders mating. To learn more about this amazing sighting, I connected with sea spider expert Georg Brenneis from the University of Vienna in Austria. Thank you for joining us today, Georg. We're really excited to have you talking with us here at Ocean Exploration Trust about these sea spiders. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background with these creatures? My name is Georg Brenneis. I'm a zoologist and developmental evolutionary biologist working at University of Vienna. And I'm working for a long time by now, more than 10 years on sea spiders. I then saw this amazing video of yours. Yeah, this, this is... This might be reproduction here, huh? Yeah, based on the uh, Dr. Google. Looking, looking like that's what it is. And I was extremely excited just seeing this for Perhaps not obvious reasons, but I will try to explain. What's going on in the video for those of us who don't have um, extensive sea spider knowledge? What we're seeing here are two very large sea spiders. One sits on top of the other. We see them kind of from behind. And the very interesting thing is that you can actually also see more than just the legs. In the very center, there are these reddish angled slim appendages that are uh, very close to the seafloor here. And one of them to the left, this is one that it, uh, belongs to the lower animal, which is a female from what we can tell. And this animal holds in this appendage, which we call the Ovager eggs. And the individual on top with the same appendage is actually locking under the female so that it doesn't get away. So sometimes you can also see that they move in sync up and down during the video. Here. So what we are observing is to my knowledge, to the very first time, a mating behavior of this particular group of very large, so to say, giant sea spiders, the Coloss Andes, that has been never recorded before anywhere, although we know them for more than 150 years and people have been looking for that. So it's very unique. I'm quite excited seeing this. So what is it about this video that is so exciting? First of all, it's a unique observation. I can say that already right now. So what we see here are two sea spiders that are mating. Sea spiders mate by using the genital pores in their legs. The male sea spider climbs onto the female and the pair adjusts until the pores are aligned. But these are not just any two sea spiders that are mate that mating. So we know sea spiders now for quite a while. This particular group we'll see in the video is called the Coloss Endaids. And the Coloss Endaids, the name suggests it's their large sized animals. They are the largest among the sea spiders. And weirdly enough, we have no knowledge whatsoever about the reproduction and about their life cycles. Has this been documented before? We'll find out. It's definitely something we'll have to reach out to specialists about. Great, great, yeah. So at this stage, people were also believing they have a completely different reproductive biology. And now you come along and you have this video and that shows a mating, what we don't have yet. And that's something I, I had some tears in my eyes when I saw that the clip ends. Uh, we don't know what happens with the eggs afterwards yet, because it could still be that they put them on the sediment after they're done, or they put it on some invertebrate host that we don't know. So that's a, that's a one-time shot that, that you actually had there with this. Hopefully it doesn't remain this one-time thing, but it's really amazing. So what's next for this research or for sea spider research in general? One thing that I hope, having seen the video, that I don't know, expeditions that use ROVs and do all this very important monitoring, they actually have some more luck and locate these kind of uh, the areas and the events and document them. Thank you for speaking with us today and to all of you watching, thank you for keeping updated on this amazing scientific discovery. And we hope to see more sea spiders and all sorts of things as we continue to explore the ocean's depths in the Central Pacific and beyond. And if you want to stay up to date on everything we're doing, follow along at nautiluslive.org and of course on all of our social media channels.